courts to say it is unconstitutional to deny black and Latino people civil rights while saying it is okay in California. We are going to be organizing and mobilizing to launching a new offensive against the uh, attack on affirmative action in California. We're demanding that the administrations at UC Berkeley and UCLA double underrepresented minority student enrollment now. We are confident we can win at the Supreme Court if the black and Latino community communities mobilize their collective power as black people did in the 60s and Latino people did in 2006. We're going to be beginning with a march on Washington on April 10th for full citizenship rights for the 11 million people without papers, and we're going to keep marching until equality is out. We're completely legal. But 209 and 2 have basically said that you can't use affirmative action. So how do you, you know, how do you justify the two? How do you get those two together? Or can you? We're saying that there's no state's right to ban the only effective means that California's experience has proven the only effective means to, to integrate the public universities. A Latina student at UC Berkeley has been organizing against the um, Prop 209. So David, has this affected you, 209? Uh, yes, I'm, um, I had the honor to run for uh, student body president with the Defendant from Action Party and calling on um, the state to abolish Proposition 209. It's complete discrimination against um, African American, Latina, and Latino communities in California and it's um, de jure segregation, preventing admission, the only admission programs to, to give access to these elite universities to Latino and African American communities in California. You're a student here? I'm a student here, so you were a able student to, organizer with By Any Means You necessary. were able to get into the university though? Yes, I was. So it didn't keep you out? Last, last year, I um, participated in occupation of the administration office, of the admissions office, calling on the university to double underrepresented minority student enrollment, to double the numbers of Native Americans, African Americans, and Latino and Latina students to this campus. Um, it really upsets me and angers me to see the only students coming here um, to tour the campus are white, majority, privileged background students. And, um, and when you see high school students coming on field trips here from the Bay Area, they're majority Latino and Latina and African American. There's no reason in this state. Do you have friends who have not been able to get in? During the occupations, we had families um, from Berkeley High School coming, um, coming to us saying that their, their sons and daughters had been uh, denied admission to the university. And uh, we're just calling on the university to live up to the legacy it says it stands for, for free speech and for equality and justice. So uh, we know that we stand on the right side of history on this fight. Can you introduce yourself again? Uh, my name is David Douglas. I'm a presidential candidate uh, for the, with the Defender for Action Party and a student organizer with By Any Means Necessary on campus. What year are you in? Senior. And what do you, what's, your, what's your major? I'm a film major and Latin American Studies major. Thank you very much. UC Berkeley, for instance, has a 2.8% African American um, student population here, and that's completely that's already completely discriminates most people from coming here. Have you tried to get in? I am trying to get in, and I haven't heard back yet. So you've already applied for admission? Yes, I have. But I would just like to say, a lot of students who, even for me, that's already a big step because honestly, I didn't even feel like I would even consider trying or even thought I could get in at first. But then when I saw this organization, that's when I immediately knew I had to be more brave, more ready, and I will fight this system and try to get into this University of California. What do you want to study if you get in? I would like to study and hopefully become a lawyer and then hopefully a judge. It's a big step, I know, and I'm ready to make a challenge. Okay, you your last name? Adebayo.